Hey, let's go shopping. Again? Yes. Why? I need a new dress. We just bought one. But I want to add more. Add? Yes, dress. Add? Dress. Add? Dress. Add? Dress. Add? Dress. Add? Dress. Ah, a dress. Let's go. Motorcyclo News is brought to you by The views and opinions of the host and the guest does not reflect the show or the network. For your comments and suggestions, you may just email it to motorcyclenewsmagazine at gmail.com. You are watching Motorcycle News TV. Happy first Sunday of August, cyclistas! My name is Joel Hoya and you are watching Motorcycle News TV. Marami po tayo in store for you today, guys. And we have Mr. Mel Aquino, Titan Hawk, AJ Rivera, and Kate Tapia to bring it all for you. So, cyclistas, sit back and we'll keep the show rolling. <laughs> Maraming salamat Kuya Joe and Hoya. Pumunta naman tayo ngayon sa News and Events. Nagpunta naman tayo ng iCycle 2016 Ride Pilipinas. Ipipicture din natin ang grand launch of the Yamaha Mio and of course, brand ambassador nila walang iba kundi si Nadine Dustre. At syempre, pumunta naman tayo ng Bonifacio Global City upang matunghayan ang launching ng dalawang bagong motor ng Vespa. And of course, nangyari naman ang MDPPA Safety Riding Seminar sa Paranaque. Ihatid sa atin yan maya maya lang ni Papa Titan Hawk. And let's check out the car side by Miss Kate Tapia and AJ Rivera. They will be checking out the Pirelli Performance Center and Carbon Zone. At syempre, for our bike review, tingnan naman natin at suriin ang bagong Monostar Cafe 400. So mga siklumistas, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show! <laughs> Okay, let's move on to our news and events. News and events, pag-usapan natin ang nangyari sa iCycle 2016 Ride Pilipinas. It is a big gathering of motorcycle riders and of course, mga bicycle riders. Tingnan natin ang mga naganap sa launching na ito. July 20, 2016, Wednesday. ABS-CBN Lingkod Kapamilya 
and Republic Brand Communications partnered to host the iCycle 2016 Ride Pilipinas that will be held at the World Trade Center, Manila on November 18 to 20, 2016. The Philippines can be said as a dangerous place for two-wheel riders. Motor and bicycle accidents are recognized as one of the leading causes of death in the country. These issues led Republic Brand Communications Inc. and ABS-CBN Lingkod Kapamilya Foundation Incorporated to stage an event dubbed as iCycle 2016 Ride Pilipinas, a gathering of motor riders, bikers, biking enthusiasts, in one venue to say in one loud voice that motor and bicycle have rightful lanes in the roads of not only Metro Manila but of the entire country. See you all at the iCycle 2016 Ride Pilipinas Motorcycle and Bike Summit. Okay, so mga skwistas, yan po ang mga pangyayari sa iRide 2016 Ride Pilipinas. Pumunta naman tayo ng Mandaluyong City kung saan naganap ang grand launch of the Yamaha Mio Nakasama rito yung uh, safety riding science ng Yamaha and of course, na-interview natin ang kanilang brand ambassador, walang iba, kundi si Nadine Lustre. Check this out! Okay, so si Luistas, kasama natin ngayon ang uh, the new endorser of Yamaha Motorcycles. Walang iba kundi si Miss Ma'am Nadine. Ma'am Nadine, magandang uh, gabi po. Good evening, good evening yeah. po. Ma'am, uh, tell us about the experience, uh, the Yamaha safety riding experience. Yes, actually uh, super enjoy po siya. Um, medyo nagdadrive po kasi ako so medyo madali lang for me na matutong magmotor. But then, nung natuto pa rin ako, tuwang-tuwa pa rin ako, masaya. Super saya po niya. So ano ba mga message mo sa mga kababaihan na gustong mag-ride at... Uh, Gusto lang subukan ang mga Yamaha motorcycle. Yep, ayan, yes. Huwag kayo matatakot ng magbotor. Actually, super, super saya niya. And then, it's so easy lang naman kasi nandiyan naman ang Yamaha para turuan kayo. Kasama naman natin ngayon ang uh, marketing head of Yamaha Philippines. Walang iba kundi si Mr. Jude Camos. Magandang uh, hapon, sir. Hi, good evening sa inyong good lahat. Evening. So, welcome po dito sa aming event, Neo Riders. Sorry, gusto mo bang sumama? Ayan. Sir, pag-usapan natin, sir, the endorser, the Jadin, si uh, James Reed and uh, Nadine Lusre. Yung experience ni Nadine, kamusta naman po? Nakapag-train po siya sa safety riding. Yeah, actually, Nadine is one of the best example that everybody really can ride Yamaha motorcycle. The teacher how to ride motorcycle. Isang araw lang, wala pa nga, actually less than a day, she was able to ride, go around and enjoy Yamaha Mio i125. Kamusta naman sir yung event natin? Kabuhan sir? So actually it is very exciting. No? Nag-umpisa sa special riding uh, school for uh, ladies. No? We are able to teach 100 ladies how to ride motorcycle. Then after that, we have a series of launching. Una-una na mini-launch is si Rebby Bear, ang pinakabagong icon ng Yamaha. Yeah. Yan, si Rebby Bear. So... Ito makikita nyo sa lahat ng event ng Yamaha, very available. All you need to do is go there. Yeah. Then, next to that is the series of our mall tour, campus tour, and of course, ang aming ambassador na si James and Nadine. Yeah. So, muli po mga siklubistas, abangan nyo po yung mga susunod na activities ng Yamaha Philippines Incorporated, uh, the new Mio, and uh, of course, their Revy new Revy Bear. Ayan. So, abangan nyo po ang mga schedule sila sa Motorcycle News Talk Show. Muli mga siklubistas, balik sa inyo. Ayan po mga siklubistas, nakakausap natin si Nadine Lustre. Well, anyways, nagpunta naman tayo ng Bonifacio Global City kung saan naganap ang launching ng Vespa Scooters dito po sa kanilang showroom. So, nilaunch po nila rito ang dalawang modelo nilang uh, scooter kung saan ito po ay yung GTS 150 at ang pinaka-classic sa lahat, ang PX150. So, the PX150 ay uh, two-stroke motorcycle with a four-speed uh, at alam naman po natin ang classic na Vespa. Ito po yung may clutch twist na kambyo. Kumbaga, ito po yung shifter niya. Nasa left handle grip niya. 
And of course, it is two-stroke and, uh, and it is uh, equipped with a 12-inch diameter rims. At syempre, pag sinabi natin classic, nag-start pa ito noong mga panahon ng World War One, kung saan ito pong Vespa ay ipinanganak sa ere. Narinig niyo po yung sinabi ko. It was uh, uh, used in the World War One, kung saan ang mga Vespa motorcycles po ay pinatalon sa parachute o nakaparachute po ito at uh, ito po ay uh, sinalo ng uh, mga Italian soldiers at ito po yung ginamit nila upang uh, magapi nila ang Germans na mga panahon na yon. So Vespa has gone a long way. So it's a classic scooter motorcycle na talaga naman nakaka-inspire. At syempre, kung classic look lang ang pag-uusapan, the new models from Vespa, the GTS 150, and the classic PX 150. Sa so, mga sequistas, huwag kayong alis, babalik kami. Let's go shopping! Again? Yes! Why? I need a new dress. You just bought one. But I want to add more. Add? Yes! Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Ah! A dress! Let's go! Welcome back, Sigurdistas! Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin ang Safety Riding 101. Kasama natin si Papa Titan Hawk na nagpunta sa Pananyake. Tingnan naman natin kung ano ang naganap doon kasama ang MDPPA kung saan naganap ang Safety Riding Seminar. Pasok, Papa Titan! Thank you, Papa Mel! And welcome po sa ating edisyon ng Safety 101. Ngayong habang nito, pag-usapan natin at puntahan natin ang naganap na Safety Riding Seminar dito po sa Paranaque City Hall Kasama natin ang Paranaque Riders Federation at Skydrive Society. Panoodin niyo po ito. Once again mga sikwisa, kasama ko naman ngayon si Sir Go Cortis ng MBF at Moto360. Sir, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Magandang hapon, Titan. Long time no? Oo, oh, okay. uh, Sir, ano po bang uh, meron ngayon? Alam ko, marami kayong mga pakulo ngayong uh, taw taon na to eh. Yeah, oh. right here. Nandito ngayon tayo sa MTVP Safety Riding Seminar. Naging role po dito ng Michael Bush Foundation eh. Pinadala po namin yung instrument na ginagamit sa pag-count ng decibel sa mga mm -hmm. open pipe. So, para makatulong sa mga rider kung para mamonitor nila kung talaga bang yung mga pipe nila ay eh, talagang magdudulot ng noise pollution. So, Yo. yun yung isang tinulong natin dito sa MTV Bay Safety Riding Seminar. Yun lang! At siyempre, para kay Mel! Yee! Yeah. Yee! Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon si Kimisa. Ako nga pala si Titan Hawk at uh, welcome po ulit sa Motor City News TV. At kasama ko naman ngayon si Sir Rodi, ang isa sa mga instructor sa MDPPA. Sir Rodi, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Yo, magandang hapon din. No? Uh, sir, uh, pwede nyo bang uh, sabihin sa ating mga televiewers, ano po ba yung uh, MDPPA? So, ang MDPPA, ito ay association ng mga motorcycle manufacturers sa Pilipinas. Ang mga member nyo ito ay Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki at Kimco. Bilang manufacturers ng mga motorsiklo, uh, hindi lang namin hindi dyan ang pagbebenta ng motorsiklo. Kung ito ay tingnan din namin yung kaligtasan ng gumagamit ng mga aming produkto dito sa Pilipinas. So, napakaganda pala ng layunin ng MDPPA, no? So, hindi lang talaga mga motorcycle riders ang inyong tinatap, kundi talagang uh, mga citizens yes. ng ating Pilipinas. Oh. Dahil ito ay hindi na ngayon masyadong nabibigyan pansin sa lalo sa ating mga eskwelahan mm -hmm. ang road safety. Kasi alahanin po natin, ngayon eh, marami na pong namamatay because of road accidents. Hindi lang dito sa Pilipinas, sa buong mundo, marami na namamatay. At uh, kailangan mabigyan na natin edukasyon ang ating mga kabataan para sila ay maintindihan na kung paano ito may iwasan ng aksident. Pwede kayo pumunta sa aming Facebook page sa MDPPA at uh, madali nyo na po makikita ito. At i-add lang po, i-like nyo, kami po ay magre-respond ka. At ayan po mga siklowisa, no? abangan nyo po ang mga events, ang mga safety seminar ng MDPPA. I'm sure, eh talaga magiging safe kayo sa mga kalsada. At syempre, sabi nga ni Sir Rodney dun sa ano kong seminar eh, huwag lang mga riders ang isama nyo. Sama rin nyo rin mga pamilya nyo para lahat sila, eh lahat kayo, eh matutunan nyo regarding road safety. Kaya muli mga siklowisa, ako si Tyler Hawk, ito ang Motorcycle News TV. 
Kaya maraming maraming salamat po sa PRF, SkyDrive Society, at syempre sa MDPPA. Kaya Papa Mel, balik sa'yo. Maraming salamat, Papa Titan. Tunay nga napaganda ang safety riding advocacy na ipinakita nyo. Thank you very much and congratulations and MDPPA. Ayan. Sa mga sigustas, huwag kayo alis. Babalik pa kami. Hey, let's go shopping! Again? Yes! Why? I need a new dress. You just bought one. But I want to add more. Add? Yes, dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Ah! A dress! Let's go! Pag-usapan naman natin ng Four Wheels Industry. Kasama naman natin si AJ Rivera at si Miss Kate Tapia. Dito sa Carside. Pasok! Thanks, Mel. My name is Kate Tapia. And I'm AJ Rivera. After that awesome bike ride, we bring you... Carside! Carside. For this week's segment, we have another featured shop, Carbon Zone Unlimited, and the opening of the first Pirelli Performance Center in the country. But before we continue, I'll share with you our trivia of the week. Did you know that James Dean, besides from being an actor and a heartthrob of the 1950s, was also an avid car racer? He was killed in 1955 while driving his Porsche 550 Spider from LA to Salinas, California to compete in a race. His Porsche was hit by a truck, Dean suffering multiple fatal injuries including a broken neck. And that's how our dear James Dean died. And that's our trivia of the week. Let's now go on to our featured shop. A few weeks ago, the car side team went to Quezon City to check one of the best and most promising custom shops of today, Carbon Zone Unlimited. Together with our newest Kaklolitan, Alan Tan, we had a chance to chat with the owner, R.R. Rodriguez, and their team captain, Vorman Ting. Let's check this out! Okay, so good afternoon guys. We're here at Carbon Zone in Kamuning, Quezon City with Boss RR and Boss Vernon. And kasama pa rin natin syempre ang bago nating kapulitan sa car side which is Alan Tan. So guys, good afternoon. Yes, yes. Good afternoon. Pwede bang bigay tayong kanting introduction? What is Carbon Zone? Uh, bali si Carbon Zone Limited is a car shop that modify namin yung cars, turning it into a show car, technically. I see. Okay, anong mga products and services ang ino-offer natin? Sa products and services, actually, marami. So, ang pinaka-main natin is paint, body kits, carbon fiber, and accessories. Actually, marami tayong options for the newbies. Pwede tayong mag-start from, from the basic body kit of adding just the chin, side skirt, and then rear skirt. From there, pwede ka na magpalit ng rims, pwede ka na magpalit ng mga bumpers in the future, and then mag-add ng carbon fiber stuff. Uh, lastly, sir, ano ba yung, saan ba natin matatagpuan si Carbon Song? Physical address natin is uh, uh, Triple One Kamuning Road, Marangay Kamuning, uh, Quezon City. And then you can also see our works, our creations through uh, Facebook. That's uh, Carbon Zone Unlimited. You type nyo lang, it's two words, Carbon Zone, one word, and then Space Unlimited. See, how about contact numbers? Meron ba tayo? Yeah, we do. Um, contact number, uh, just uh, dial 0917 774 1984 Okay, so guys, na nyo na um, Boss RR, Boss Berman, yun tayo sa Carbon Zone with Alantan, this is Carside For more information about Carbon Zone Unlimited, please check out their Facebook page, Carbon Zone Unlimited So partner, I heard you went out last weekend to check out the grand opening of a shop So can you please share with us the highlights of the event? Sure partner Last Saturday, we went out again to Quezon City to take a look at the newest and most advanced performance centers in the country. 
the Pirelli Performance Center. They also unveiled two of their newest tires. Let's watch this. Hey, good evening guys, we're here today at Kamunin Quezon City for the opening of the Pirelli Performance Center. I'm here with Sir Robert, Sir JV, and Sir Alex. Good evening, sir. Good evening. So, um, what do we have today here? Uh, today, we launched the first Pirelli Performance Center in the Philippines. And we launched the two new patterns of uh, Pirelli, which is the Pirelli Dragon Sport and the Pirelli P0. Okay, um, let's talk about the product. What's Dragon Sport and what is P0? So here we have two different products. One is the original equipment product for the, all the premium and the prestige cars. This is the new P0. And then we have the replacement market product for all the popular Japanese brands. Japanese cars that though customers are looking for premium performance. So you have a sports tire for your premium performance. Okay. So when they say that local cars here, we already have Pirelli products. By the way, sir, um, what's the difference of the Pirelli Performance Center among other performance centers here? Oh, very good question. What differs us from the other car care center and tire center is that we use the state-of-the-art equipment. Very advanced. Okay, so, um, I've heard about the Pirelli experience when you come here at your center. Can you tell me something about it? Oh, okay. Because we have this Pirelli Performance Way. I will be glad to share it with you. Please come visit the Pirelli Performance Center, number 78, Kamuning Road, Quezon City. Our telephone numbers are 416-3054. I see. So um, how about Facebook? Do you have um, a Facebook page? Yes, we have Pirelli Performance Center. Okay, so guys, there you have it. We're here today at Pirelli Performance Center in Kamuning, Quezon City. This is AJ Rivera of CarSide. It was an honor getting to meet the people behind Pirelli Philippines. Thanks to Sir Rolly, JB, Robert, Alex, and the rest of the staff of Pirelli Philippines for having us. For more information about the Pirelli experience, please contact their Facebook fan page at Pirelli Performance Center or call 416-3054. So guys, that's what we have for this week's segment. Catch us again next time. Again, I'm AJ Rivera. And I'm Kate Tapia. Please don't forget to like our Facebook page, CarSide by Motor Cyclo News. Remember, this is the show for your car lifestyle. Let's take your driving experience to the wild side. We we'll bring you Car, car Side. Malam salamat AJ and Kate. Last week's episode, we showed you a more thorough review of our TVS Neo. Today, we will show you the build quality and how tough this motorcycle is. Okay, so Cicluistas, ang TVS Neo XR ay sinasabing matibay ang plastic parts. So ito ang kanyang special feature. Alika mga Cicluistas, subukan natin kung gano'ng katibay ang fender or plastic parts ng TVS Neo XR. So tatapakan po natin ang fender. Sasampa tayo rito. Tingnan natin kung anong magiging itsura na ito pagkatapos. So ayan mga Cicluistas, kita kita, nakatapak ako sa fender. Masasabi natin na maganda ka ang quality ng plastic parts ng TVS Kaya, New XR. Dito na kayo mag-angkas. <laughs> Pwede mo bakas dito. Yan po mga siklistas. Kita-kita. Good quality galing sa TVS. Let's move on to bike review. Kaya we check out the Motorstar Cafe 400. So the Motorstar Cafe 400 is a single piston, single overhead cam with four valves and of course a 13 liter fuel tank. Kaya pang malayo ang biyahe po ito. And of course it is supported with a front disc brake and a rear drum brake. Pag-usapan naman natin paano pinapanda. So it has an electric starter and of course equipped with a kickstarter. This is a road legal motorcycle that can move on to the expressway dahil ito ay 400cc na. It is a chain drive motorcycle equipped with 5 gears. So, 
Papatayitan, balik na sa'yo. Thank you, Papa Mel. O, ngayon naman mga sikluista, samahan nyo kami every weekdays kung saan magkakaroon tayo ng motorcycle news live. Kung saan kayo kami ay magkakaroon ng interaction. Kaya kung meron kayong mga katanungan, mga suwestyon, eh, ito na yung pagkakataon ninyo na makausap kami live. Kaya mga sikluista, abangan nyo po. Marami po kami pamimigay ng mga items kung saan kukuha kami ng mga questions sa aming mga previous episodes. Kaya ugaliin nyo manood ng Motorcycle News TV tuwing Sunday, 3.30 sa PTV4. O kaya mga sikluista, kung meron kayong mga suggestions o suwestyon, eh sumulat lang kayo sa amin sa Motorcycle News Magazine at gmail.com. At kung gusto nyo naman mapanood ang aming mga previous episode, pumunta lang kayo sa www.motorcyclenews.com Kung hindi nyo pa nalalike ang aming Facebook page, isearch nyo lang po kami, Motorcycle News Mag. O, oh, balik naman sa'yo, Papa Joel. Mga siklumistas, that's all we have for you today. But before we could end our show, we would like to thank, of course, our sponsors, Longreach, for our consumer products. TVS Motor Corporation, our partners for online motorcycle marketplace where you can get your products delivered to your doorsteps. Just visit motobuy.com.ph And of course, thanks to Canon Philippines para po sa aming mga cameras. And of course, to Kit Vision for all our action cam needs. So si Cluistas, always remember that your right hand dictates whether you live or die. So, dandan na po sa throttle. Always use our brakes. So, guys, shout! You to check one of the best and most promising custom shops today, Carbon Show... Uh, Carbon Show. Okay. Pick up. <laughs> At ngayon, mga sikrista, abangan nyo po. Every weekend, Sweet Grinch! <laughs> Did you know that James Dean, besides Rufus Humphrey, So yun po mga sikulistas, ang mga pangyayari sa Yamaha launch na ginanap po yan sa May Green Meadow, Green Fields, Green Meadow, MMDA, alright. Let's take your driving experience to the wild side. We bring you? Car side. We bring you. Okay, we bring you. Motorcyclo News is brought to you by... Shopping. Again? Yes! Why? I need a new dress. We just bought one. But I want to add more. Add? Yes! Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Add? Dress! Ah! A dress! Let's go!